on the radiation. Or you can do it with me. Do you know the sun salutation? Um, do you practice sun salutations? I don't practice it, but I think I've, I've done it before. Yeah. Okay, can you do it with me? It with me? So yeah. just I will show you the flow. Maybe you can think of because it's going to have a lot of junction with the hip joint. Okay, so you start from the top of the mat and you come like this. So our intention always is opening up the chest. Okay, so inhale, exhale, in. Out, you go from the from you lead with your heart, so you go from the heart, okay, and then close to the knee. Now, right leg goes back, you go up, so your your knee lift higher, okay, and this is where you are going to enjoy your hip, okay. So, these are all aligned, okay, perfect. Never shift your hands, always bring your feet forward, okay. And if it doesn't come, if it is like this, then you walk it like this. Okay. Or if it doesn't come, then you pull it up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Whatever is convenient to you. But do not move them. Okay? Look up higher. Uh, lift, uh, so toes are on the ground. Your, your leg is like this. It's like this. Okay, perfect. Knee lifted higher. Then bring your front leg back into the plank. Hold it proper. Okay? Good? Feel it into the hip, okay? Now, knee, chest, chin on the ground. But here, the key is I'm not going to move my palms, okay? So observe me the way I'm going to go. Knee, chest, chin on the ground. So chin is in between the palm. And this is what I would like you to stay there and enjoy more, okay? Enjoy this as much as you want, whatever your body allows you, okay? Chin in between the paw. Now come into the cobra. Very good. Hands up. Cobra doesn't have hands and legs. Very good. Look up. Your vision is over the ceiling through the third eye. Okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. Now from here, bring your hands down into the up dog to the down dog. It's a connection. It's a la la smooth movement happening all the way. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do not move your palms. Bring your heels close to the ground. Okay, walk your feet a little bit forward. Walk your feet a little bit forward. More. Two heels to the ground. Okay. Now hip to the sky. Look at me. Hip to the sky. Okay. And vision in between the palms. Very good. Okay. Now, as we started with the right leg, bring your right leg in between the palm. Back leg nice and straight and give a nice, lift your knee a little higher and look up. Chin up. Very good. Bring your back leg into the front. Exhale. Nose to the knee. So here you can practice a little bit more. Okay. So exhale. Inhale. Create the angle below the knee. Okay. Now exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. This is for your problem. We generally don't do this variation in the sun salutation. Mm -hmm. but this is for us. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, now, inhale, wrap around the sun. That means you are opening up. Wrap around the sun. Look up, Tadasana. So it's like stretching the body. You are opening up the whole spine in between. Straight. Okay, toes together, heels together, look up, chin up, and then release into the namaste or whatever. Okay, so this is half of the sun salutation. So let me do with the breath the other side and you will see there is, a, it is on page number 48 or something in the second book. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a sun salutation whole picturization for you. I will show you how you do with the breath and that is the proper way of doing it. So I will not talk. But I will in, out, in, out. Okay? So, out. Sorry. In. And out. In. So, if you are comfortable, maybe later on, you can go slide back bend. Okay? Hands, elbows straight. Next to the ears. Bring them close if you can. Okay? Straight. Fingers. Okay. 
exhale down now we started with the left uh, sorry uh, we'll start with the left left leg goes back in up hold out hold okay now exhale knee chest chin on the ground do not move the palms chin is coming in between the palm enjoy this stretch as much as you can okay and i want if you want to practice more if, if this is a good position for you to practice your hip that specific area inhale into the cobra cobra doesn't have hands and legs look up chin up exhale into the down dog bring your heels close to the ground if you are like this see yeah so i need a nice v here very good heels close to the ground do not force the body hips to the sky look at me okay so if this is like legs come forward okay now my vision is in between the palm and hips to the sky okay now exhale uh, sorry bring the left leg as we started with the left inhale look up chin up now bring your other leg back sorry front next to the front one exhale into the forward fold wrap around the sun inhale and exhale okay mm -hmm. so 12 steps right 12 steps left 24 together one sun salutation that is on page number Page number 43. Mark it down this page. Page number 43, second book. Okay, so there is an in and out very well mentioned here. Even if you forget it, there is a video for you. Even if you forget it, there is a picture for you. 48. Oh, sorry, 43, sorry. Yes, my same number. number. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. So all 12 steps. So write down 12 plus 12, right 12, left 12. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. 12 plus 12 equal to 24 equal to 1. Did you get it what I said? Yeah. Very now there is another one I would like you to practice with the one which we practiced. I think yesterday's flow was one of the flow. Mm. Right? So the second variation of the for the managing your glute is like lying down on your back. Okay? So we give her back straight, nicely, intact on the ground. You can if you want to watch, you can watch. If if you want to practice with me, you can practice. You decide, okay? So it now here arms are locked nicely sorry fingers are locked nicely okay inhale right leg bend and grab your knee exhale into the belly exhale into the belly so look at me i want you to watch me okay exhale into the belly so this is my exhale so when i am exhaling my lower back my sacrum is on the ground mm -hmm. you know sacrum okay and i'm switching a lot nicely here mm -hmm. between it okay mm -hmm. now inhale grab okay interlock the fingers hold your knee exhale into the belly mm -hmm. got it Exhale into the belly. So when I'm exhaling, I'm, for, I'm enjoying here, but at the same time, I'm pressing it here. So that's the another one. Now in the second variation, I'm bringing both of my knees next to the body. Okay. Now, this is my inhale. When I'm inhaling, bend your knees. When I'm exhaling, both knees to the right side of the body, look into the left. Okay. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the left side of the body. Look into the opposite side. Got it? So 
So this is the second variation. Third variation, bring your right leg over the left knee and open your knee. Inhale in the center here. Now, when I'm exhaling, exhale to the right knee to the right side of the body and look into the opposite direction. This is going to be very beautiful for you to practice and enjoy the stretching that area. Your both elbows are on the ground. Did you get it what I said? Yes. Okay. Inhale in the center. Now the right knee is going to the left. Exhale. Into the opposite direction. Look into the opposite direction. Got it? So it's the same thing. Oh, very nicely you are lying down on your back and enjoying the hip stretches. Inhale. This is called it as a figure four. Okay. And release. Now the same repeat. You want to try with me one? Sure. Okay, bring your knee, oh, sorry, ankle to the, lock it to the knee, okay, now inhale in the same, I tell you, are, see your position of the feet and look at my position of the feet, it looks like a figure four for me, but yours doesn't look like a figure four, okay, bring your knee out, yes, now it is looking like this, and lock it at the ankle here, you are way forward, go back, Okay, I will I will come to you. Okay, so this is like my heel is close to the my glute. You see this? Mm -hmm. So my glute, glute and my heel is connected, the bottom one. Now my ankle is locked here. Okay, now I'm telling my knee. My knee is like this, right? So I'm telling my knee to open up, and then I'm inhaling and I'm exhaling so left knee to the left side of the body look into the opposite direction got it inhale in the center now how are we what are we going to do other side other side exhale to the other side and look into the opposite direction do not move the feet which is on the ground, okay? Inhale in the center and release. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is a lying down variations. Now you grab your both knees, grab your ankle, sorry, grab your both ankles. Okay? Now inhale and lift your knee, uh, sorry, hip. Lift it. And exhale down. Okay. Lift a little bit higher now. Inhale. Lift higher. Lift your hip. Very good. Very good. Nice. Slowly exhale. Okay. Now the third variation. Okay. Yeah, watch me first. Inhale. And I'm going to bring my, my, my shoulder in. Okay. And I'm locking my fingers. Now, I'm going to bring my hip and I'm higher and I'm going to come on my toes. This is one of the things what you will enjoy more, okay? Lift higher. Lift higher. Bring your knees closer. Lift higher. Hold your breath here. Exhale. Release your shoulder. Okay, did you see the difference? Mm -hmm. You're actively coming on the toes and actively um, going deeper. Okay, mm -hmm. so that is a one deep one to practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, another one, come on your belly. Okay, and now. This is a cobra pose. They say it, okay? Inhale, lift, and you're lifting until the up dog. So higher cobra. Okay? And if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can go a little bit more deeper. Like this. Look up, chin up.
One more time. Inhale, look up. Higher, cobra. Breathe nicely all the way until the hip you are lifting. Very good. Toes are relaxed. Very nice. Lock your elbows. Look up. Very good. Awesome. Do you feel it? Okay. This is the one. Another one. Now, from here, you come into the child pose. Okay. This is the child pose. You are sitting on your heels are closed. Your toes are connected and you are sitting into the child pose. Okay. So, once you are done this. Alright. Once you are done this, separate your knees. So this is a variation you can do it. Now separate your knees, separate your hands and then come on the elbows. Interlock your fingers and you can, um, you can, you can bring your chest on the ground, forehead on the ground and hip is higher to the sky. Nice engagement of the muscles there. Mm -hmm. And breathe. So these are the poses, some of the poses in the book. Um, mark it down the page number 49. In second book? Second book, yeah. Page number 49. No, mark it on the, uh, directly on that picture. Yeah, I'm going in case to see which page I'll okay. write here. <laughs> Other one was which one? 49. 49, the topmost. And the one before that, the sun salutation was what page? 43, I believe. 43. Yeah, 43. Okay. okay. Then you're, um, you're practicing. Um, can you mark on the page 49, the top one and the middle one? Top and middle both. Okay. So so that is the one to practice more. The I, I, we did that actually yesterday, rock and roll. Then you can practice the another one. Which, which one the middle one when the vajrasana? Yes. And chair pose is another good one, like page fifty four. And then the one which I told you uh, on the page number 59, the top and the bottom. Uttanasana. Okay. Page 88, the bottom one. Mm -hmm. So here, I would like you to make an arrow to the hip area and when you are bringing the nose to the knee, make sure your hip is towards the sky. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, show the direction upward arrow maybe mm -hmm. so where is my chest chin on the ground somewhere yeah the page number uh, 86 so that is a bilitasana cat and cow posture so that is the one uh, page number 86 that whole both cat and cow variation. You remember that doing on the one of the days of the cleansing we did that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. 
you have any questions? आपको समझ में आया विद्या? Yeah. हमने जो किए थोड़े से? Yes. समझ आ आपने देखा वेरिएशन कैसे है? Energy का जो flow. Sorry, I started talking and the recording is in English. Let me turn it off and then I will I will explain. Okay. So I was.